Hi, I'm Jim Hackenberg, PGA professional, developer of the Orange Whip, and I've got a lesson for you. Prior to playing golf, we need to loosen up and get our muscles ready for that game that day. Also, a lot of us golfers are stuck in snow country and we don't get to play for five, six months. But there's a few drills I have today that I can show you with the Orange Whip that will keep your muscles ready for golf, be it in season or in the off season. I want to start with what I call the torso twist. I get into an athletic stance. I actually extend my arms in this position with my palms facing the sky and I hold the orange whip. I'm gonna rotate my torso, but watch my feet. The feet are the crucial element. I'm gonna push with my left foot and then my right. Left, right. The purpose of this is so that I can loosen up my feet, my ankles, my knees, my hips, and my back and I'm also using the ground as the force to make this rotation. I recommend doing that drill about 10 to 15 swings to get loose and find that rhythm. Secondly, we're gonna work on the hinging forearm rotation. I'm gonna take the orange whip, I'm gonna slide my hand down to the bottom of the grip, place it in just one hand and the fingers of one hand with a thumb on top. I will tilt into my golf stance and let my arms hang freely. I will start by pushing the orange whip forward and allowing it to swing back and forth. Notice how my forearm is slightly rotating and notice how my wrist is hinging and unhinging naturally. This is a training motion to develop that proper hinging and unhinging of the wrist. If you look closely, this is really looks like a forehand in tennis and a backhand. So I make it very much like that, it's a, it's a tennis motion. So with these first two drills, I've loosened up my lower body and I've loosened up my wrist, my forearm and my shoulder. Well, let's put it all together into what is our actual full golf swing. So I'll get into my address position, hover the orange whip, start very slowly back and forth. Allow my wrist to hinge to support the whip here and here. Once I get it moving, I can power it up to create speed that's in balance. Now we've been warming up with the orange whip, training these muscles, but let's transfer over to a golf club because that's where we're going with this. We want to improve our golf game. I will take this driver, I'll get into my address position, and as you can tell, it's a different object than the orange whip. It's not as flexible and it's quite a bit lighter. So for me to recalibrate this motion, I've got to start slow and build it up. So now I've got the same feeling I had with the orange whip. But let's put a couple of individual swings in here. Because this is what it's going to feel like when I'm on the golf course. I'll do one more. All right, my golf swing's now recalibrated. Everything's in balance. I've got a nice rhythm. I'm ready to go play golf. But if you're in cold country, you want to be doing this to get ready for the spring. If you do these drills every day, Springtime will be a breeze when you get on that golf course. It'll be like you're in mid-season form. So get yourself to orangewhiptrainer.com for more information and to get an orange whip and have a great summer.